Okay, to replace the trailing cable or the belt for the carriage assembly or the uh, ink supply system, first thing you have to do is open up the cradle, pull out the print heads, Remove that one screw, then the ink tubes. Loosen that screw right here, put your door down, slide the carriage assembly. You have to pop off the uh, shroud to the carriage assembly. There's a release tab right here. Pops off. And then inside the carriage assembly, here's the connectors for the trailing cable. There's two of them. Okay, next thing is we've got to take the service station out. Two screws. Assembly slides out, green cable for the service station is right there, there's your service station. Now we want to remove the belt assembly, so we take the carriage out to replace the belt or the carriage. This whole assembly right here needs to come off in order to slide the carriage to the right and off of its axis. There's screws here, 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 also here, here, here. And then uh, once the screws are out, we'll have to uh, use some needle nose pliers to take the uh, loosen up the encoder strip, which is right there. The encoder strip will have to come off, and then the bushing, uh, excuse me, the uh, pulley will loosen up, and then release tension on the belt, and also these connectors have to off and then this whole unit will come out. Okay, I got the screws off on this assembly here. I got the disconnected. Um, now I want to take the encoder strip. I want to, on this side, one screw holds that encoder strip. I'm going to take that off. If it takes two hands, you got to release the pressure right here, and then that'll get it off the clip right there. So one moment. Okay, I got the, got the encoder strip off the clip. As you can see, it goes right back through here on the carriage assembly. There's a sensor in there, encoder sensor, that has to be able to see the cable. So as you slide it through the carriage assembly, just be mindful that when you reassemble, it needs to go right through that slot right there. <clears throat> okay, with the encoder strip off, now I can release the pressure on the pulley that holds the belt by pressing down on this and it clicks. Now the belt's loose. You can rotate the belt over the motor head to free it. Now with that done, I can just push the pulley out, take the pulley out, there's the pulley, 
slide the belt out. And it simply comes off. Be careful with the encoder strip that's delicate. Now the carriage is free to move off the axis. Now, one final thing. The ink supply system needs to be removed and the trailing cable needs to be disconnected and then the carriage is free to slide off the printer. The ink supply system has a clip right here. It lifts it straight up and then the trailing cable has two clips. You pull that straight up. Be careful not to uh, bend the contacts or you will damage the trailing cable. Okay, here's the trailing cable disconnected. You can see there's silver contacts on there. Those are very delicate and they have to fit firmly in the connector, on the trailing cable connector on the carriage assembly. Here's the ink supply system connector. And also there's a little tab right here that holds that trailing cable in place. We'll have to take that off. Okay, now at this point if you're going to replace the trailing cable, you can see one end comes all the way to the right, the loops around the carriage. There's a little uh, clip that folds in and then it connects onto those connectors and then the under part of that trailing cable goes the length of the printer, goes through this slot and it loops down over here and it connects into the electronics module. And there's two plastic clips that hold that firmly in the slot from, so you're going from left to right. We do not need to remove the carriage assembly to install the trailing cable. Okay, at this point, I can lift up on the ink supply system, tube system, pull off the carriage assembly. There's the carriage assembly removed. Then I can turn it over. You can see where the belt connects right here. So you can take needle nose pliers or a flathead screwdriver and pull that out to remove the belt. Also when you put a new belt in I always uh, check the bushings, clean those out of any uh, residue. Uh, there may be some dirt on the line sensor you want to clean out. And then on the axis I always clean this off, this residue, rubber residue from the old belt clean the rail with just a damp paper towel and uh, if you have uh, some HP oil synthetic oil looks similar to this all you have to do is just put a couple dabs maybe one there one there one down there three dabs is all you need to lubricate the rail properly and there's also machine oil um, sewing machine oil which is probably readily available at uh, some um, fabric store or what have you. Also I li like to check to see if the motor head's got any ground rubber in it. This has a little residue in it and uh, you just take a flathead screwdriver ground out the rubber in there. There's your cutter. So once you have that clean Clean the rail, lube the rail. This is your ink tube system. That's pretty delicate. You got to put it back there. Um, once the carriage belt has been replaced and you're ready to reassemble it, you put it on the rail, the bushings on the rail, slide it on the end, reassemble your trailing cable, reassemble the um, ink supply system, and then the belt loops through there. Put the carriage assembly sort of in the middle out of the way then reassemble this assembly and then uh, the trailing cable has to line up through the slot you get a better view of the slot right there 
right there where my finger is. It's where the um, encoder strip slides through. And then you have to reassemble the ink supply or, or the um, service station. And then you can turn it on.